Okay, let's start with jQuery basics now. Hope you have seen the dollar symbol all over the places in jQuery scripts. What is this dollar all about? Keep looking at these dollars and you will make more dollars. It's just a shortcut for jQuery function. Instead of writing dollar jQuery this these much letters, you can simply use this shortcut that is dollar. Now coming to the selectors, why this jQuery function or this dollar is actually used? It's just a selector function. Like if you want to select a paragraph from the HTML document and want to perform some actions or want to impart some behavior to it, just select it dot some function call some methods which we'll see in the later part of this presentation for now let me tell you how to select the elements it is not different than css if you know css selectors then you know jquery selectors already only difference is you need to write it inside double quotes and a dollar symbol and some parentheses that's it in the first case paragraph tag has an id and its name is female to select that hope you remember the css we use the pound symbol similarly in jquery we use pound female to denote the id in, in case of class in the second example we have the paragraph tag has a class of male Similar to CSS, we use dot to denote the classes. So dot male. To directly select some of the elements of HTML, just write the element that is tag name inside the double quotes and you are ready to go. This holds good for any HTML elements and the same rules apply as that of cascading style sheet selectors. Let's start with an example. So dollar document. This is the only case we don't include the double quotes here. This indicates the entire document has been selected. Dot. It's a separate. It separates this selector from the methods. Ready is a method, which means. The HTML document is ready or it, it has already been loaded. Notice the semicolon at the end which denotes the end of the jQuery statement. Inside parenthesis we write an anonymous function. We will discuss more about anonymous function in later stages of this tutorial. So you just need not worry about this anonymous function. Just know the syntax here. Inside these curly braces, we write some of our jQuery statements again. So this line indicates now the document has been loaded and is ready. So this is where we write additional jQuery statements. Now I select a paragraph. You already know how to select the paragraph or any HTML tag for that matter. So here we are selecting a paragraph dot click. Click is an user event. When someone clicks on this paragraph, in this case, any paragraph, we haven't specified any ID. So any paragraph, probably I have only one paragraph tag inside my HTML document. So I'm not using any specificity like ID, class name or something. I just select the paragraph once the user clicks on it once the user clicks on it again I'll write an anonymous function again you need not worry about anonymous function just notice the syntax and the semicolons and the parentheses opening and closing concentrate on that so here is where I write some of the actions when the user clicks on the paragraph. 
now i'll select the image dot fade out it's an effect fade out fade in fade to fade toggle you need to experiment with those things i'm illustrating with only fade out effect here i'll pass a parameter like you can even specify the number the fade out and fade in timing that is in millisecond you need to write the number here something like thousand three thousand six hundred like that in words you can write as slow fast in this case fade out effect will be slow so that the effect is seen to the user notice the semicolon there which indicates end of this jquery statement so this is a simple way of fade fading out an image once the user clicks on the paragraph you can use fade in which is a reverse effect or toggle effect you can use slide 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 out slide in slide toggle you can use all those things this fade out effect is the opaque object turns into transparent and then disappears so try these things yourselves like slide up you can use that for the image instead of fade out you can use slide up slide down slide toggle here and for text or for image you can use fade in fade out fade to fade toggle these are nice little effects which can add value which can add nice action to your web pages also try this hide show once the user clicks on the paragraph it slowly shows up or slowly or hides faster here i have given hide inside parenthesis fast for show slow for image slide up slide down slide toggle please try it it's fun effect i especially like this slide toggle effect once i click on some paragraph or button the image slides that is toggles so it fades out and fades in or slides up and slides down for that matter just try it you will understand and this final one this one is something like doing selecting a tag dot its inner html replacing the string or creating some string inside a specific html tag similar to javascript here you select the tag that is here i have selected the paragraph tag dot html inside the double quotes to write the string you want to put it inside this p tag 